Good morning, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum Update Sunday, April 19th at noontime, 2020, Mountain Time. The models are showing a blizzard in May in Minnesota. Say it ain't soda. Also, northern Michigan and Wisconsin could potentially be hit. But the real story is heavy snow in the west, as well as lingering snow in the northeast through the end of April. The big story today, severe thunderstorms, including threat of strong tornadoes, return to the south. Keep calm. It's tornado time. Dangerous severe storms with strong tornadoes and damaging winds and flooding rain expected in the south. Do not count out hail. We'll get to the analyzer. Severe thunderstorms are expected in the south Sunday into early Monday. Strong tornadoes, damaging thunderstorm winds, and hail are all threats. Flash flooding is also a serious concern. Here's the current radar with tornado watches in Houston, Shreveport, Louisiana, and these will be moving east during the day. Jackson's probably already under alert. Multiple rounds of strong, severe storms could produce tornadoes, damaging winds, and large hail in the south through tonight. The greatest risk of severe weather exists from east-central Texas eastward to northern Louisiana, southern and central parts of Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia. This is the area NOAA Storm Prediction Center has issued a moderate risk, which is the second highest severe category threat. Very likely in the purple from Albany to Alexandria. So a huge swath under this threat zone all day. And then Monday morning, the coast, Savannah to Wilmington, heads up. Severe weather possible. Heavy snow falls in upstate New York and surrounding region. A winter weather advisory was issued for a, bla a blathering, a slathering. And there are the snowfall totals. We covered it yesterday, 8 to 18 inches in some areas of Albany and South. Records were broken. Snow squalls may return next week. It's not over, kids. In the Northeast, it's still at risk of snow. One person was caught uninjured in a Highland Bowl avalanche near Aspen after the heavy spring storm. Look at those turns. And here you can see where that avalanche nearly killed someone. You're only allowed to be in the backcountry if you live in the county where you're skiing, by the way. Here's the snowfall analysis for the last 48 hours, showing that heavy swath of snow from Chicago to Boston. And snow moving into the Sierras also. So the drought over here in the southwest continues to be picked apart. Great Lakes water levels, ice extent, and Great Lakes news. Well, if we look at the projections for this year, it looks like Lake Superior may be above last year's levels. Lake Michigan and Huron definitely will be record levels, could be a foot, a foot and a half higher than last year. Lake Erie is looking pretty good. The projection showing it just slightly higher than last year. And Lake Ontario could actually have a lower level than last year. The only lake showing that. Lake St. Clair also showing higher levels. There is no ice. And the spring melt is coming. So be alert. Regional outbreak of tornadoes and damaging winds expected across parts of the lower Mississippi Valley and southeast today. An outbreak of severe thunderstorms, including tornadoes, is expected. We're down here in the green zone. The red zone is should in central Alabama, looking like it's picking up the biggest warning here. Uh, excessive rainfall in these areas from heavy, severe thunderstorms will make significant and potentially life-threatening flash flooding possible. Severe storms are expected for a few hours Monday morning, mainly over the eastern Carolinas. So here we see the severe weather watches. These are going to be moving east as the storm moves with it. Here's the hail map for Saturday, April 18th. Almost 24,000 hail reports, but it's the first time this season that hail 1.75 inches or larger has been reported. 502 reports in a single day of hail larger than 1.75 inches. And as we uh, move into April and May, we're going to be seeing some impacts of the 2.5 inch or larger hail. So get your helmets on. Spring's just starting. And the models are showing significant event could potentially be developing here May 3rd and 4th. And that would be record-breaking snows, 16 inches in Minnesota in May. Seismic update, no quakes of note, thankfully. A lot of the extraneous rumbling in the western U.S. is quieted down. So that's good news. Worldwide Volcano News update.
The Kamchatka is alive. Kluchiskov has a new lava flow and is continuously emitting to 22,000 feet. And there are some of the pictures of the incandescent glow over the evening. We also have Fuego puffing a new 14.5 puff. Etna had a volcanic explosive eruption to 14,000 feet today. And White Island's elevated volcanic unrest continues. And that's the update. USDA under pressure as food safety concerns grow. This is because there haven't been any recalls since the pandemic. I mean, there's barely any employees in these plants. So what's really going on with your meat? This is a call to arms to all the people that are still buying toxic meat in the supermarket. Now, we still do it. But most of our meat, we like to source the highest quality, organic or pasture-raised. But we've been eating barely, for the last five years, all the pork has been ours. We produce most of our meat, chicken, eggs, pork. And Top Knot just brought over a bunch of his beef. So for the last week, I've linked below ways you can locally source meat in your area to lo at local farmers. There's lots of ways to do it. Just go on to the Googler and say, how can I source local meat and put your town? And you can actually get cheaper prices than the supermarket right now by buying directly from the source. And that protects you from all these concerns about food safety and chunks of metal in your meat. Now, 10 apple varieties once thought extinct have been rediscovered in the Pacific Northwest. This is the good news clip of the day. The lost apples will help restore genetic cul culinary diversity to a crop North America once produced in astonishing variety. I'm going to get my hand on some of them apples. How about them apples? Always wanted to say that. Record shrinking of Greenland's ice sheet raises sea levels. Ah. They didn't even look. Greenland has gained 27 gigatons of snow and ice over the last five days. That's how pathetic they are. Look at how much gain is going on on Greenland. Record gains. Yet the main mainstream is publishing record shrinking. On the same day of record gains, they're saying the exact opposite. EcoWatch. What a shardicle. Look at this douche well. He should be fired for sure because he just didn't even look. I mean, what an idiot. Earth's atmosphere is four times dustier than we thought, which could change climate models. It could. Well, if they don't change the climate models, then the climate models will still be Four times as wrong. These bah, stronger global warming on non-rainy days in observations from China. Now, this is some of the breaking information coming out from the climate mainstream. It is, according to their studies, this is breaking news, just came out the 17th of April. There is stronger global warming on non-rainy days. Now, let me, that's pretty advanced science. Let me break that down into English. When it is sunny out, it's warmer. And when it's cloudy out, it's colder. This is breaking, cutting edge information coming out from the global warming cabal. This just breaking two days ago, that when the sun is out, it's warmer. And when it's cloudy, it's colder. It's, it's mind-blowing. When I saw the title, I couldn't believe the implications of this paper. <laughs> Researchers find flaws in how scientists build trees of life, completely eliminating all everything to do with evolution. So we don't know anything. What we do know is that everything we thought we knew, we did it wrong. But breaking information coming from the global warming cabal, when it is sunny out, it is now hotter on Earth. And when it's cloudy, it's now cooler. And it's your fault, according to them. Estimating the impacts and trade-offs of solar geoengineering scenarios with a moist energy balance model. Well, this sounds like a moist insult to science. because. They just found out that it's warmer on sunny days and colder on cloudy days. And now, well, it's anyone's guess what will develop after 
this paper. Now, a sobering astronomical reminder from what's happening worldwide right now. We can't even control a microscopic germ that's traveling around the surface of our tiny sphere. And the insanity of the people in mainstream science now want to geoengineer the skies because they know what they're talking about after a paper just came out that proved that it's warmer on sunny days. That's the level of stupidity that we're working with. Don't believe the hype. The sobering reminder is that in any moment, the sun could shut off and we would all die. It could outburst and we would all fry. And there's not a single thing that humanity can do to change that. What you can do is live each and every day with a purpose. And that purpose allows you, no matter how much money you have or how many friends you have, it allows you to be happy. You can be happy in a crowded room. You could be happy completely alone. But it also allows you to never be bored. If you have purpose in life, there is endless possibility for what can come. There is never downtime. And there's always a smile, even in hard times. Think about the attitude of gratitude while you bitch and moan. And realize how many hundreds of things you have to be grateful for. If you can hear my voice, there are millions of people who cannot. If you can see my face, there are millions of people who have never seen a flower. Adjust your gratitude list and realize with real eyes the real lies. Thanks for watching. We love each and every one of you. Share this with like minded people. Plant a seed and be safe. That's about.